To ensure that only WCPS students are attending classroom Zoom meetings, it is important to limit who enters a teacher's Zoom classroom. This can be done by changing Zoom settings and individual meeting settings. In order to restrict your Zoom participant list to verified WCPS users, teachers will need to turn on the Only Authenticated Users Can Join Meetings feature. It is the responsibility of the teacher to turn this feature on. To turn this feature on, please log into zoom.us, click on Settings on the left, scroll down, and locate Only Authenticated Users Can Join Meetings. You'll need to ensure that this feature is on. If it's off, it will be gray and white. If it is on, it will be blue and white. Please ensure that it's on at this time. The next thing you'll need to do is set up your meeting. To do that, on your left-hand panel, please click on Meetings. If you need to edit a meeting, simply hover over it and click the Edit button. This is a new meeting. Click the Schedule a Meeting button. For demonstration purposes, we will schedule a meeting. Please give the meeting a name. Enter a description if you'd like. Add the time and duration of the event. And then scroll down to Meeting Options. In this area, you'll need to put a check mark in the box next to Require Authentication to Join. Again, it is a teacher's responsibility to check this box. Next, you'll want to scroll down and click the Save button. If you get an error message when trying to save about your password, please know that the credentials for passcodes in Zoom have been updated to match what they are for your WCPS email. Please make sure that you have each of these done when creating your passcode. Remember, if you have students who have logged into Zoom with their personal Zoom accounts in the past, please remind them that they must log in with their WCPS account from this point forward or they will be unable to join your Zoom classroom. Students should always log into Google before logging into Zoom. If you need to Zoom with a parent or a non-WCPS participant, please schedule a different meeting. Do not use the same link that you use with students or your parents will not be able to join since they do not have WCPS accounts. For demonstration purposes, we will start another new meeting. We will give it a name. Again, you can fill in the description if you'd like. Fill in the time and the date of the meeting. Scroll down and you'll want to make sure you uncheck the box next to require authentication to join. Again, if you leave this checked and the person that you're trying to Zoom with does not have a WCPS account, they will not be able to join your Zoom meeting. Again, you'll need to scroll down and click Save at the bottom. To view all meetings, simply click on Meetings on the left-hand side. If you have additional questions, please be sure to reach out to your library media specialist or contact the Help Desk. Thank you.